What's up guys, Ryan from Manscapes. Today we've got the star of the show as you can see. It's a baby Asian forest scorpion and you can see there it's literally the size of my finger almost. But we'll get straight into the contents. It's going to be in a natural setup and I'm, I'm just really excited to get started. As always from me, peace and love, I'm out. Now this was the old giant African millipede setup. If you just watched that video, I will leave the card for that in here as well now. But this here in particular, you can see just pieces of cork, bark, things like that, that the isopods and the springtails are loving and eating. Loads of moss. So what I did is I just piled it into the corner because what it'll do, it will create a tunnel there. I've got the heater towards the back right as well, just stuck on. So that's where it'll go if it needs to dig and burrow. Hardscape is what I sort of started with first because I, I always tend to find you see your vision from the hardscape, hardscape down. So getting the hardscape in is always the most difficult part in my opinion. Once you've got the hardscape down, you know, the plants and the, you know, the moss, things like that, they tend to just fall in place because you already have that vision from the offset with the hardscape. So here I'm just trying to change the angles of the camera so it's easy to see, but the plants I did choose, uh, I've got the ficus puma that I already had in there, I just used some more cork, I added extra pieces in. Um, some plants were already in this tank from the beginning, I've used all of the parlor palm now for my uh, giant African millipede setup or the new one. I've got Mulecki, uh, Mulenbeckia complexa, I'll um, put the actual title of it on now. Also some trade tension that I didn't decide to use. Um, and other various plants that I got from other setups. The main thing here was just getting that sort of the finer details down and that intricate design that I've got in my head or the finer details. I used a small trade center inside the actual cave area. I used some ivy as well, English ivy, which was from my other setups, my other notice. And again, I'll leave a card for that. It was mainly just getting things down how I wanted them, how I wanted it to look. I wanted it to also look aged, so I placed moss in between some of the rocks to make it look like you know it's been there a while. After a good misting down, that was about it really. I've made a custom lid that I just cut from a sheet of um, corrugated plas uh, plastic. That's worked absolutely fine. I just put some smaller holes in so it can't escape um, for ventilation and it's working absolutely perfect. In particular now though, I do mist it down a lot and water the whole thing until the drainage layer was almost three quarters filled because I want to keep that humidity high just so the moss can fat get sort of bedded in. Um, I want to give it the best start I can possible so that a lot more of the moss takes with it being floating sort of in the air, not within the sphagnum moss. And here's the little guy here. I've decided to call him Rocky. A little bit of a closer look at him, but you can see I don't know if it is a male or female. I don't think it's mature enough yet to sex. I initially tried to get it out and I used like a piece of wood I was trying to get it out with, but in the end, I couldn't, I just couldn't tip it in without things, you know, I didn't want to hurt him. So what I actually ended up doing was just getting a spoon, picking up the soil from underneath him using the spoon, and then I just placed him in the cell, which you will see as well. I do show the lid, um, just because I wanted to show you what I did with it. Um, like I say, it was cor corrugated, <laughs> I can say it right, corrugated plastic. Drilled some holes in the top, just obviously not to make sure, well, making sure he couldn't escape. And um, that was it really. He then just moved straight down onto the right side into the setup itself and sort of buried into where I actually thought he would, into the cave section where it was warmer. So regardless, you know, I'm actually really happy with the outcome of this tank. This, it's been set up now for a couple of weeks. The soil, everything like that's more than mature enough. Massive springtail cultures and isopod cultures in here. And um, I just got a really small bottle top, put it inside, sort of surrounded by moss because they are prone to drowning. So, you know, it won't struggle getting down in there or out if it does get stuck. But then after that, wipe the glass back down and that was it ready. The 
and there we go straight into the cave section i hope you liked the video remember to smash that like button if you did but as always from me peace and love i'm out